I'm Elia Habur for the Beirut Banyan. It was a quiet day yesterday at Martyr Square. There weren't too many people, just a regular weekday night. However, I did see some ladies uh, with posters to prevent further suicides. I talked to one of them to get some details about the initiative and then have a conversation with another fellow who was hanging around. Here's a glimpse of my Thursday night. Hello, my name is Jumana. I'm 26 years old. I'm a volunteer at Embrace as an operator for the suicide uh, for the National Suicide Helpline. Jumana, this has been the talk on everyone's mind recently. Unfortunately, many suicides have happened back to back in these few days. What brings you now to Martyr Square at such a time? Why do you think it's important to be here with your flyers? We're here today raising awareness on uh, suicide in Lebanon because it's a stigma and it's driving uh, specifically male uh, Lebanese uh, uh, to commit suicide because uh, we always tend to ask uh, uh, male uh, to man up or uh, to be stronger or just basically not have these uh, weak emotions or uh, being vulnerable. I'm here with a few friends, uh, we're holding banners, just to talk about mental health in general for everyone, and especially in this, in this time, and this crisis, uh, like uh, this economic crisis is affecting people, uh, uh, mental health, it's uh, implementing this suicide ideation more because uh, they feel like uh, this is the easy way out or I can't take it anymore, I feel hopeless in certain ways and the current uh, crisis is make it, making them feel like they are really hopeless and they can't find a hope for another day. So for those who are on the streets, let's say demonstrators, let's start with the ones that are maybe not super high risk, maybe mid risk, and they feel that 50 days on, maybe some of them are taking care of themselves physically, but maybe they're neglecting the um, psychological and emotional um, well-being sides. What tips can you give people who are on the street if they're feeling down or they're feeling that they're having bad thoughts or maybe they know they have psychological problems they're trying to deal with but it's getting too much? My only tip for them is self-care, self-care, self-care. Because if we don't take, if we don't take care of our mental health, we're not gonna be able to continue this protest. We're not gonna be able to maintain our health for the next few months. So the main things to do and look after is uh, our mental health uh, by uh, doing like uh, small things for self-care, like uh, taking a break from social media, taking break from news, or uh, having. Uh, uh, a me time, like spending time by myself, focus on what makes me happy or comfortable, like focus on food or like small, uh, simple uh, things. So um, I'm going to challenge you a bit because this is, as you mentioned, sometimes online you read things that you may not have thought about before. And one of the comments that I read, I'm not sure if it's true, is that it may be costly to call the helpline that uh, that has been circulated. Is there any way to circumvent this if, if people do not cannot afford to call this helpline? Uh, yeah, it, it's true. Uh, when you call the helpline, you need to have credits to call. Uh, because the Lebanese government is not uh, currently helping us cover uh, because it's, a, it's an emergency hotline. Uh, but what we are doing now, if it's a, an imminent uh, risk uh, case or someone who really need help, he can just uh, missed call us twice and we will call them back. And uh, when, when they call you, um, theoretically, should, should they provide you any information or is it an anonymous uh, line that they can just start and talk? It's completely anonymous. We don't need to know your name. We don't need to know your uh, anything about you. We just want to know how you're feeling now and how we can help you. And you've been here maybe protesting for a while. Is there anything that you've learned about yourself in these 50 days or maybe about your fellow Lebanese or the country in general? Uh, I've learned that the Lebanese people are so strong and uh, this is the first time we see them united and uh, not only united, like they're standing in solidarity with each other, like the past few days we lost five people to suicide in 24 hours, which is intense. And uh, people are uh, talking about it more, like they're really breaking the stigma because it's such a shame to talk about suicide. 
especially if you're religious or you're a male in Lebanon. ف- This is uh, like it's breaking the stigma and people are talking more about it and people are reaching out to to people by comments and they're saying like we're here we're here to listen or just call the suicide the lifeline okay. okay so if you don't mind uh, please providing me with your name age and profession uh Michel Khairallo I'm 28 I'm a bartender slash musician slash handyman slash everything <laughs> uh, 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 also I studied audiovisual so Michel it's pretty sparse right now here there aren't too many people what keeps you here at this day 50 days on uh, for me it's it's a bit different than others maybe because I was coming every night yani. Uh, I used to live uh, here in Marm Khalil, but uh, now I like I quit my job because uh, actually I'm I was lucky because my you know, I still have job, but you no know, I can't I'm too attached to the things that's happening here, so I can't work anymore. So I just work one day, and I'm living here. I I quit my place, and I'm living here in uh, in downtown in Sahtsho. The reason I'm asking you this is because I was also uh, previously talking to many people. I've been here releasing episodes daily. And one of the subjects that started coming up 30 days in, 40 days in, is how to take care of ourselves. Physically, it might be challenging, but I think most people are managing. But the other aspect is how to take care of ourselves emotionally and psychologically. How do you feel that we're doing as a collective, or, you, or you're doing as a collective? What are you doing to keep yourself healthy that way? Now I'm healthy, but I'm passing through shitty days. <laughs> Seriously, like there's some days uh, I'll be too down يعني, and uh, too depressed. But uh, يعني, for me, I like I, I left the whole thing. I went to the mountain like for five days. I stayed in the mountain alone يعني, for five days, so I got relaxed. يعني, and now I came back and now We're meeting new people. We're having like uh, small talks each night. We're, and this is what's keeping us uh, strong, if you want. But no other than that, you don't know. Like, you know, you think you're uh, controlling everything, then suddenly you'll be like totally down. Is there something that you've learned in the past 50 days, maybe about yourself, your fellow Lebanese, or the country in general that you didn't know before? Personally, yes, I'm discovering myself on the streets. I like I'm discovering an anger I didn't know about it before. I'm discovering like Mabar. Uh, sometimes I can do things I didn't used to do. Uh, actually, once I was thinking, you know, I should do something like to get people together to make actually a party where all people were just having fun, taking good energy from each other and. Uh, not focusing on the on the sex or on the whatever يعني, they want to make a fight i want to go with this girl blah 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 and all this stuff if we can remove them and make like one big party without uh, going through this stuff and i found this here actually it's really beautiful and i find it you know this trust issues we had it wasn't from people it was from the from the government not from the government يعني, from the whole society and it was coming from up يعني. like i found too much people thinking the same way يعني. and actually that's what we're building here يعني. how would you describe this community that's been camping here for weeks now what's different that you maybe haven't seen in communities that you've lived in before and there's no money here there's no uh, no racism no uh, You can see yourself a human again, actually, and heck, you can build trust easily. Is there anything that you've seen either on the ground here or online while we're all scrolling through social media that you looked at and you were like, is this really Lebanon? Oof, of course, like the, the first thing is Trablus. It was, uh, يعني, the first thing is Trablus, like, and everywhere, like, even when we went to Zaytuna. We went there and uh, we said, you know, this is a common place, it's not for blah, blah, blah. And we sat there, it was like, you know, wow, we have uh, 
no, we have a sea here just like next to us and we can't see it, yani. so so yes, like uh, no, there's too many stuff actually. Even why yani, like I'm seeing in people it was no first I thought no I'm the open minded person and I know everything. Then here I'm learning from people actually you know, if there's people that even like uh, old people they come and they say things to me I was like oh shit <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, yes I feel like a bit thick and uh, okay sorry no uh, I'm not that open minded given how different this community might be in contrast to the rest of the country how are you currently navigating conversations with either family members or friends who are still apprehensive about what's going on they don't feel that this is something they can trust or they can put their faith in how are you going through those conversations when i'm not down yani, or depressed i'll be like uh, having some uh, conversations trying to tell them you know, this is different uh, telling them like real things happening you know. actually i'm really like uh, getting into some people like i changed the mind of especially the taxis yani, you know, we went in a in a huge conversation and he's shouting and blah 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 and I was just listening, listening and the end I tell him no you can go there and and do this you know, if you if you're afraid of of something go to the street and tell people about that so he, like he was uh, he shut up but sometimes when I'm not uh, when I'm not in a good uh, energy so yeah, I can't hear these people like I feel I want to punch them <laughs> especially in the bar yani, when I'm uh, working it's very hard over there maybe this is the biggest reason why I can't work uh, too much there because as my job it is uh, a duty to listen to people and I can't do this anymore like they will be ah, what's this nothing is happening <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> I'm on the street from I was yani, from month till now I'm on the street and there's like a lot of stuff happening yani, what are you talking about yani. so I just stay calm or I give him a look or I'll be very uh, very negative yani, with him and uh, rude <laughs> so my last question to you is in a couple of years when people are looking back at this moment in our history what do you think they're going to remember or what do you hope they will remember yani they will see or remember you no know, this is a fight it's not a fight between system to another system yani for me it's a fight between uh, yani between guns uh, guns and the voice so this is what we're learning again yani, you know, and this is i hope what we yani I don't know if I'm exaggerating, but I think this is a, it will be a world war, yani, a, a world voice war, yani, the voice against the guns. Yani. So I hope this the, will, yani, yani, we, I hope we will show them this, yani. especially now, yani, even now, yani, whenever you go, you know, it's a it's a Salmiya. Uh, it's a protest. Everybody says, eh, where are you going? Yani, if, you, if there's no blood, there's no change. And we're making a huge changes with the voice. So this is my first lesson, actually. Yani, I didn't believe no, you can do that much with your voice. But you know, that's the way you can do. <laughs> Thank that's you it. so, so, so much. It was my pleasure. Thank you so much. Elia Haber, signing off from Martyr Square for the Beirut Banyan.